Konnichiwa Mina. And after, oh my god, like over a week, I finally got around to doing this, even though I simulated it many days ago. Here it is, week 18 and the final week of the 2018 DCFL regular season. So as we take a look at the final week standings before we start getting to the games, right now the Indianapolis Rapid Stallions and the Jacksonville Scouts, the only teams in the playoffs, and both of them have the number one two seeds locked up. They're going to host the playoff games before the championship. We just got to find out the final teams that are in the playoffs. Right now it's Seattle and Pittsburgh with the third and fourth seed with my Baltimore Charm still hanging in there. So now here we look at the schedule for week 18. First off, the very important match is the Baltimore Scouts, I mean the Baltimore Charm, host the Jacksonville Scouts. Very important because if the Charm lose the Scouts, then the Tenyo and the Power are officially in the playoffs. So very important for me. Gotta win and hope for the best against Seattle and Pittsburgh to maybe make the playoffs. After that, it's the Phoenix Devils visiting the Charlotte Bobcats. Then the Chicago Staley's visiting the o um, Oakland Pillagers. Then the Indianapolis Rapid Stallions visiting the New York Gangsters. Then we finish it off possibly with not only playoff implications, but possibly seeding implications at that point, as it would be the Seattle Tenyo visiting the Pittsburgh Power, where both teams might be in the playoffs by then. So we get things started with the Jacksonville Scouts visiting the Baltimore Charm in a do-or-die situation for my team, as the Scouts already are in the playoffs, already secured the second seed. They're pretty much just playing for spoiler right now, and of course to try and get some revenge after we beat them down in Jacksonville early in this year. Oh boy, hopefully we can get this win and stay in the playoff race. But that wouldn't be the case as the Scouts won 33-26 in a very hard fought game that the score went back and forth. So thankfully my charm did fought very hard, but they just couldn't pull it off in the end. And in fact, the um, charm almost got 500 yards of offense Jacksonville got over 500 yards of offense. This was a very offensive game. Both defenses played very hard, but in the end, the Charm managed to pull it off in the end. I mean, not the Charm, the Scouts. And with that, of course, my Baltimore Charm are officially eliminated. And that means the Seattle Tenyo and the Pittsburgh Power are officially in the playoffs. And, of course, their game is now about the playoff position. Who's going to get the third and fourth seed? After that, it's the Phoenix Devils visiting the Charlotte Bobcats. As both teams are eliminated, they're just pretty much playing for bragging rights. Hey, Phoenix may be trying to get a 500 record just like my charm and such. As Charlotte beat me, won their last game last time out, hoping to try and end the season on a positive streak by winning two games. And Charlotte would destroy Phoenix 40-7 to in the fourth quarter. Oh my goodness. As Phoenix was completely shut down offensively, they, didn't, they only had 235 yards of offense. And oh my goodness, even though their defense got five sacks on Charlotte, Charlotte got two sacks, three picks, two forced fumbles recovering one of them and a pick six. Wow, their defense really played hard there. And what a dominant performance as they got 400 yards to give Phoenix their losing season just like Charlotte. Oh boy. So heh, I'm the only team with a 500 team. Then it's the Chicago Staley's visiting the Fe um, Oakland Pillagers. As the Chicago is trying to end on a high note after their very horrible season as the best team paper-wise going into the season. Oakland having an awful start this season, but hey, they're three and four the last bunch of weeks. Would like to finish off the season on a positive note going 500 the last bunch of games, especially since they've been playing much better these last bunch of weeks, especially at home. But Chicago would win it 31-17 in a defensive slugfest as Chicago got five sacks and four Four forced fumbles and recovering three of them. Three times Oakland tried to go down in the um in Chicago territory score only to fumble the ball back to Chicago. Wow, what a dominant performance they had as they ended the season on the positive note. As of course Oakland now, unless we have new teams coming in right now, would have the number one overall pick in the 2019 draft. Then it's the Indianapolis Rapid Stallions visiting the New York Gangsters as New York's trying to just have a positive note at the end of the season as they've lost like five in a row. They have like the longest losing streak right now in the league. Meanwhile, Indianapolis already in the playoffs. Got the number one seed all wrapped up. They're just trying to play for bragging rights. They have the number one record in the league and maybe try and break, I mean, get like 600 points. They almost got it as they won 40-26 in another pretty hard-fought close game 
as Indianapolis got over 500 yards of offense and their defense got four sacks. So Indianapolis has a very strong front four. In um, New York probably played the hardest they've played in a while, but in the end, they just couldn't hold on when it mattered the most going into the fourth quarter as they end the season with the longest losing streak at six games. But now we finish off the week with the final regular season game as it's a huge one as the Seattle Tenyo visit the Pittsburgh Power. Both teams in the playoffs, but now this game is to determine who's going to have the third and fourth seed. The winner of this game will have to visit Jacksonville, and the loser will have to visit Pittsburgh, I mean, <laughs> um, Indianapolis in the playoffs. And this is a rematch from early in the season when Pittsburgh started off their incredible turnaround at the end, second half of the season where they shocked Seattle in, in um, CenturyLink Field with an upset, as we'll see what happens here. And Pittsburgh would win at 16-10 as they shut out Seattle completely offensively in the until the fourth quarter when Seattle's defense forced so many turnovers where they almost started to make the comeback. But of course, Seattle's offense once again killed them. They could not at all by and large get into um, Pittsburgh territory. They were 23% on third down conversions. They only had 227 yards of offense. Wow. That offense is so terrible as holding that team back. And with that, they have the fourth seed as Pittsburgh has the third seed. And with that, the 2018 DCFL season, regular season at least, is in the books. As we see the regular stands finish off, the playoff teams, the number one seed, the Indianapolis Rapids Stallions at 15-3, number two, the Jacksonville Scouts at 13-5, number three, the Pittsburgh Power at 11-7, number four, the Seattle Tenyo at 10-8 as they are the playoff teams. Meanwhile, for the remaining teams, my, my charm being the runner-up at 9-9, then it's the Phoenix Devils who had the tiebreaker over to Jack, um, Chicago Staley's as they swept them during the year at 8-10, then Chicago Staley's at 8-10, then it's the Charlotte Bobcats at 7-11, not bad, they have more points scored than allowed, then it's the New York Gangsters at 6-12, and they and finish it off with the Oakland Pillagers at 3-15. And, and with that, we can now take a look at the playoffs bracket as... First up will be the pre-finals, as I'm going to call it, which I decided to do in order of the second team, I mean, the second lower-ranked teams against the higher-ranked teams. So the first game would be the Pittsburgh Power visiting the Jacksonville Scouts, and then after that, it'll be the Seattle Tenyo at the Indianapolis Rapid Stallion. And of course, with that, the two remaining teams will fight it out for the first-ever championship in Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. So... Tune in for that as I might actually consider streaming that. We'll have to wait and see on that. I might have to see how everyone fe else feels about that. And then we'll have to set up a day where Jake, Ahmad, Mayumi, and Aaron can all see it as their teams are the only ones remaining left in the playoffs. So tune in to whenever it happens. If we do stream it, I will we will try and figure out a good date for everyone to be able to see it. And if we do that... Me get a date set up, I will make a video announcing for everyone so that way everyone can join in and watch and see who will win the first ever DCFL title. So see you then hopefully soon for the playoffs.